Hey guys, here today with a quick unboxing and initial bench review of this brown box. What do we have in the box? Isheen EX100 Bind and Fly. Uh, this is a 100 millimeter Bind and Fly micro um, quadcopter. This is the Fly Sky version. And let's go ahead and See what's in the box. All right, so here you have the box. We're having a little goodie bag first. In here, you have a charger, a USB charger, and a small little mini battery strap. So you have your charger. A little Velcro battery strap and two pieces of Velcro tape, probably used for securing the battery. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. You have your battery in here. So this is going to be a Ishin branded 3.7 volt, 600 milliamp, 25C battery. Pretty uh, basic battery here. have a spare set of props since the props are already on here and let's see if I can get this guy out because it'd be best to pop him out the bottom hopefully oh okay <laughs> well look at this <laughs> obviously not popping him out the bottom let's get pull it straight up And here we have it, the EX100. A little carbon fiber frame. Um, before I get too far into this, I do want to say that this was sent to me by Banggood for my testing and review. So thank you to Banggood. Go ahead and read you guys a little specs straight out the website. So it's going to be 100 millimeter micro quad. Weight is supposed to be 38 grams. We'll check that. So it's come with these 8520 brushed motors, 55 millimeter props, 800 TV line CMOS camera, output PAL or NTSC, 25 milliwatt 40 channel video transmitter, and should get flight times around six minutes. Now you do have options. This does come in a free sky, fly sky, DSM2 option, as well as a blind or a plug and fly if you have your own receiver. Oh yeah, well I got the laptop here. Currently, price of sixty three ninety nine. So back to the quad. Give you guys a little look around here. You can see the motors. Have a little foam landing feet on the bottom of each motor. Direct solder motors, so, you know, a little more maintenance to when it comes to swapping motors. Got a little hot glue strings hanging off the bottom. Not sure where that's coming from. Uh, got wires held in place with a little double-sided sticky tape. Got your camera up front. Sticking out a little ways, pretty long extension there on the camera. Got these little red standoffs. It's pretty nice. Now, the camera's held on with a piece of double sided sticky tape. So, pretty sure you could move it, but you probably don't want to move it too much. Well, let me get back here in the camera. You do have a little bit of play with it, but you probably don't want to be moving it too much. Um,. Yeah, you see this? A lot of open space in here for the battery, I guess, to sit inside. At least that seems like it would make more sense. And yeah, let me go ahead and see if I can get this powered up and connect it to um, Clean Flight. See what settings, let's see what the stock settings are. 
Okay, so now I've got it bound up to my flat sky transmitter. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys something real quick. You're going to need to be in regular AF HDS. Uh, most things, most newer things use DS or whatever that was, AF HDS 2A. You're going to need to go and turn off 2A. So you're going to need to go into your, your menu. I'm going to focus better. Go to your menu. Go down to RX setup. Go down to this. It's, I already have it off. So let me go back and turn it on. Normally, you're going to go to RX setup AF HDS 2A. Go into that. Turn it off. Hold cancel to save it. And then you're going to be good. You're going to need to be in this old protocol to fly with this receiver here. So just keep that in mind. And then to bind, you're going to need to jumper or short this right here, this bind plug and the negative wire right here. You guys can see that. So you're going to need to short this negative wire and this bind plug. And what I did a long time ago, I bought a bunch of these ribbon cables, male, male, female, female, male, female, I bought a bunch of these. So just stick one into the uh, bind side over here and stick one to the negative and plugged in my micro USB, which powers the board. And that was that for binding, for at least for putting it in bind mode. So that's that. Let me go ahead and show you guys uh, the settings out the box. Go ahead, plug this up. I'm gonna turn on my transmitter. As you can see, it starts blinking fast. So it is talking to the transmitter. Let me get this set up here. So you guys can see. Go ahead and connect. All right, so first things first, go down to the CLI, type in dump, see what version we're on. Scroll all the way back up to the top. We're running Clean Flight, the SP Racing F3 target. Version 1.13, June 6, 2016. So 1.14, I think, just came out, but it's still a pretty good, pretty new version of uh, Clean Flight, so no problems there. Let's go back out of that. Get your first regular first page. Got your basic setup. Um, I'm guessing this is running on PPM since it's not set to serial RX, but I'm not sure about that. So out the box, we got motor stop enabled. Let's see. We got some weird settings right here on the 3D ESC. Not sure about that. I don't think I've seen those numbers there before. We got VBAT on. Let's see. And we're running at 500 loop time. Hmm. 2K. 2K loop time. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> well, it is an F3 board so I guess that makes sense and we have fail safe enabled it's on land go ahead and switch that to drop always want to drop and let's see here are your stock PIDs now these P's are really high but then again, this is a brush, and I'm not too familiar with brush quads, so we'll see how that flies. But here are your stock settings, if you guys need to see them. And receiver tab, just show that I am all bound up. Everything is working. And also, so through USB, you're powering your flyboard, your receiver, and also, check this out, your VTX. And now, if you saw my last video with the E90X from uh, GearBest, had a lot of interference on the camera. This camera right here is clean. I'm going to focus over there so you guys can see a little better. Try to focus over there. Let me just move the camera closer. This picture is pretty clean. No interference at all. Might change a little bit when the motors are spinning, but so far that's pretty clean. Anyways, that is your uh, 
unboxing first look. Going through the settings. Only thing we have to do now is to charge this baby up and take it for a little flight. But that'll be for another video. Anyways, gotta throw the top plate back on here. Um, real quick, you might not even need the top plate, honestly. You could really just strap the battery down and fly like this. But I'll put it on for whatever battery protection, we'll call it. Uh, but yeah, this is the first look. Unboxing, bench review of the EX100. Actually, you know what? One more thing before I go. Before I go, let me go ahead and give you guys weight. This is dry weight. Props on, no battery. Looking at 40 grams. Where's that battery at? Throw the battery on here. Oh, yeah, minus one screw. Don't know if you guys see there. Of course, when I went to put the top back on, screw dropped, and I'm not going to find it. <laughs> With the battery, looking at 54 and a half grams or so. So, you know, pretty light. And in case you guys want to know, the carbon, of course, it's super thin carbon. 1.2 millimeter top. Pretty sure the bottom is the same. <laughs> One millimeter bottom. So the bottom of the frame is, as you can see, pretty flexible, pretty thin. Of course, got to keep it lightweight. But it should be all right. I'm pretty sure it'll take some crashes. Okay. Uh, but that's about it, guys, for this unboxing and first look. Hopefully it's going to fly pretty good. I'm excited that the video is nice and clear. Just got to give these stock settings a go. But that's your first look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.